Let's cruise into 2024 in style and with a green twist. If you're thinking about a new ride, luxury hybrid SUVs are where it's at. They're like a cool combo of saving on gas and doing your bit for the planet. With so many fancy car companies in on the action, we've got some fantastic options to share. In this video, we'll reveal our top picks for the slickest eco-friendly luxury hybrid SUVs in 2024. Let's roll. What is a luxury hybrid SUV? Why do people want to buy it? Luxury hybrid SUVs are like a fancy mix of cool, powerful, and planet-friendly. They give you the space and comfort of regular SUVs, but also save you money and help save the Earth. But why do people love them so much? Well, there are a few good reasons. Efficiency. These SUVs don't guzzle gas. They're more like sippers. They have a smart combo of an electric engine and a gas one, so they use less fuel, which means more money in your pocket and fewer emissions in the air. Eco-friendliness. With all the talk about climate change and pollution, many folks want to do their part. Luxury hybrid SUVs have cleaner emissions and use less fuel, making them a greener choice. Cool tech. These vehicles come loaded with the latest gadgets. Think fancy screens, cool safety features, and other high-tech stuff that make driving fun and safe. Loads of space. If you like roomy rides, you're in luck. Luxury hybrid SUVs have plenty of space for your friends and all your stuff, which is perfect for families or anyone who wants extra room. Style points. These SUVs aren't just practical, they're also posh. They often have fancy materials and look super sleek. Driving one is not just about being eco-conscious, it's also about showing off your style. So in a nutshell, luxury hybrid SUVs are all about being eco-smart, having fun with tech, and enjoying spacious comfort, all while turning heads with their stylish looks. It's no wonder they're becoming more and more popular in 2024. Now let's get started with our list. 5 2024 Lexus UX Hybrid. Price, $35,340, $44,170. The 2024 Lexus UX 250H is like the little guy in the Lexus family. It's a hybrid, which means it's kind to the environment and also quite nifty. Even though it's called an SUV, it's not as big and boxy as some others in the category, like BMW's X1 or Mercedes-Benz's GLB class. Under the hood, it has an 181-horsepower engine that can power either the front wheels or all of them. It's not a speedster, but it's zippy enough to keep up with traffic in the city and on the highway without stressing the driver out. Inside, the UX is quite posh, but it's not as roomy as some of its rivals. Lexus didn't make it for families, really, it's more for city folks or a pair of adults who want a comfortable road trip. Plus, it's great on gas, so you can plan some affordable adventures. The Lexus UX has an 181 horsepower engine that's both electric and gas. It's not super speed. It takes about 8.6 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. But it makes up for that with smooth steering and a quiet ride, which makes it kind of charming. If you opt for the F Sport version, it gets a sportier suspension and cool 18-inch wheels. Like most hybrids, the UX is better in the city than on the highway. You can expect about 43 miles per gallon in the city and 41 on the highway with front-wheel drive or 41 in the city and 38 on the highway with all-wheel drive. But in our real-world tests, it got about 31 up on the highway, which is a bit lower. The Lexus UX has a classy interior with comfy seats and all sorts of fancy materials. You get features like dual-zone climate control and power-adjustable seats. You can make it even fancier with heated and ventilated seats, a head-up display, and snazzier materials. It's not the roomiest car, especially in the back, but it's not too cramped either. However, the trunk is a bit small. You can fit about four carry-on bags in there, while the BMW X1 can handle three more. Every UX comes with a touchscreen system that supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and there's Wi-Fi and lots of USB ports. You can also upgrade to a bigger touchscreen, built-in GPS, wireless charging, and a premium audio system with eight speakers. Number four, 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonal. Price. $42,995, $47,495. The 2024 Alfa Romeo Tominal is not your typical boxy SUV. It's got a curvy, eye-catching design with that sharp Alfa Romeo front. Under the hood, there's a 285-horsepower plug-in hybrid engine that can go around 30 miles on electricity alone. It's also got all-wheel drive, which sets it apart from rivals like the BMW X1, Mercedes-Benz GLA 250, and Volvo XC40. What's new in 2024? Well, the Tominal was just a concept back in 2019, but now it's for real and ready to compete with other luxury SUVs from Germany and Japan. Price-wise, it starts a bit higher than some rivals. We go for the mid-range tie model, a 
It's not the base, but it comes with some nice extras like heated seats, a heated steering wheel, a wireless phone charger, ambient lighting inside, and an automatic liftgate at the back. The Town Allen has just one powertrain, a plug-in hybrid. It's a combo of a 285 horsepower engine, an electric motor, and all-wheel drive. The electric part can give you about 30 miles of driving on its own. While it's not as fun to drive as other Alfa Romeo models, it's still decent. The steering isn't as sharp, and it leans a bit in corners. The powertrain is strong around town, but not so much for high-speed adventures. On electric power, it can go up to 33 miles. We tested it at 77 miles per gallon equivalent MPGE, which is a measure of efficiency. In regular driving, it lived up to that number. The cabin has a design that's inspired by Alfa Romeo's other models. There's a fancy digital screen behind the steering wheel, and the steering wheel itself is modern with paddle shifters. The interior has a mix of metal and leather, making it look and feel upscale. The front seats are stylish, but some folks might find them a bit lacking in support. Number 3 2023 Lexus RX Hybrid. Price, $41,955. $57,805. The 2023 Lexus RX SUV has gotten a fresh look, but it's still all about that smooth and comfy ride that its loyal fans adore. You can choose from four different types, including a speedy F Sport performance model with 367 horsepower. The new RX has a sharper style, especially at the front with the big fancy grille and those L-shaped running lights that shout Lexus. Inside, it's all about luxury with the big touchscreen and the latest gadgets. But there's a change. The 2023 RX only comes as a two-row version. Unlike the old one that offered both two and three-row options, there's talk about a three-row model in the future or maybe a brand new bigger SUV with three rows. Price-wise, there are quite a few options, but we'd recommend the RX 350 Premium Plus. It's not the sportiest, but it has some neat extras like a big 14-inch screen, fancy leather seats, ambient lighting inside, and more. There are four choices. The RX 350 has a 275 horsepower engine. The RX 350 is a hybrid with 246 horses, and the top dog is the RX 500 F Sport Performance with a hefty 367 horsepower. While it's no sports car, it's decently quick, but expect something other than sports car handling. It's all about comfort. A plug-in hybrid model is coming in 2024, too. The hybrid is the most fuel-efficient, with about 37 miles per gallon in the city and 34 on the highway. The non-hybrid with front-wheel drive gets about 22 in the city and 29 on the highway. In our test, the top RX 500 F Sport Performance got 28 miles per gallon on the highway. The 2023 RX looks modern with cool materials and ambient lighting. The F Sport Performance model gets sportier seats and more black details. There's a 9.8-inch touchscreen right in the middle of the dashboard, and you can get a bigger 14-inch one if you want. It's easy to use, and it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So the 2023 Lexus RX SUV is all about a smooth ride, a fresh look, and plenty of choices to fit your style, whether you're looking for a comfy cruiser or a more spirited drive. Number 2 2023 Lexus NX Hybrid. Price, $41,955. $57,805. The 2023 Lexus NX is a luxury SUV, but it doesn't quite match the sporty European rivals like Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. It sure looks and feels fancy, with its stylish design and comfy cabin, but it doesn't give you that thrilling driving experience you get with the European competition. Lexus offers the NX with four different types of engines, including a plug-in hybrid that's pretty powerful. But none of them make the NX as fun to drive as the Audi Q3, BMW X1, or Mercedes-Benz GLA class. What's new in 2023? Not much. The 2023 NX is pretty much the same as the previous year's model. Price-wise, the base model starts at under $40,000, but it might feel a bit too basic for a luxury ride. We recommend going for the mid-range NX350, which has a turbocharged engine with 275 horsepower. If you want to add some luxury, consider the luxury package, which includes a bigger 14-inch screen, fancy leather seats, and more. You've got four choices. The base NX250 has a 203 horsepower engine. The NX350 is turbocharged with 275 horses. And there are two hybrids, the NX350 with 239 horsepower and the plug-in hybrid NX450 Plus with 302 horsepower. The plug-in hybrid is the quickest. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, while the regular hybrid takes 7.6 seconds. The ride is smooth, and it's not a sporty car. 
but it gets the job done. The S Sport trim gives you a sportier ride, but it's still not as sharp as the BMW X1. The hybrid is the most fuel efficient with around 41 miles per gallon in the city and 37 on the highway. The non-hybrid with front-wheel drive gets about 26 in the city and 33 on the highway. In our test, the regular NX350 got 28 miles per gallon on the highway. Number 1 2023 Porsche Cayenne Hybrid Price, $86,500, $173,800 The 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo is not your average luxury SUV. While some Porsche purists may at once complain about the Cayenne's existence, this turbocharged beast will make you rethink your reservations. It's not just practical, it's a performance powerhouse. What's new for 2023? The Kagan Turbo sees one small change for 2023, switching from jet black metallic to the new chromite black metallic paint option. Price and model recommendation You have two models to consider, the standard Kagan Turbo and the Turbo SE Hybrid. While the Turbo SE Hybrid offers more power, acceleration, and better fuel efficiency, it comes at a significant premium. If you're looking for the best value, the standard 541 turbo model is a better choice. Consider adding the Sport Chrono package for added performance and the assistance package for essential safety features like adaptive cruise control and a surround view camera system. The Cayenne Turbo doesn't drive like your typical SUV. It feels more like a high-powered sports sedan with precise steering, an adjustable air suspension, and a responsive engine. Powered by a 541 twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. It's a thrilling drive with a comfortable ride. The KN Turbo is E Hybrid is even more extreme. It combines the twin turbo V8 with a 134 electric motor for a total output of 670 horsepower. This hybrid SUV can reach speeds of 83 miles per hour in pure electric mode, covering over 20 miles. It's one of the quickest SUVs around, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. F the KN Turbo SE Hybrid is the most fuel efficient, with an EPA rating of 42 mpg combined. The regular KN Turbo model gets 14 Mc City and 19 Mc Highway. With an impressive 25 MEP on the highway during our test, the KN Turbo's interior is both futuristic and luxurious. The build quality is top-notch and the cabin is highly customizable. Porsche offers a vast array of options to tailor the interior to your liking, from trim to seatbelt colors. It's loaded with optional luxuries like massaging seats and four-zone climate control. While the KN doesn't offer a third row, it's spacious enough to accommodate five adults comfortably. You get plenty of head and legroom in the adjustable back seat. The cargo space is ample with 27 cubic feet behind the rear seats and up to 60 cubic feet with the seats folded flat. The KN Turbo comes with Porsche's latest 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system. It's responsive and easy to use, featuring a home menu with personalized settings. The system includes a 4G LTE mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. The optional Burmester audio system with 21 speakers is highly recommended, and there's also an option for a rear seat entertainment system with two 10.0-inch displays. If you're as fascinated by cars as we are, don't miss out on the latest updates and thrilling automotive insights. Hit that subscribe button for Cars Jade and give this video a thumbs up to keep the excitement rolling. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.